This is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. On this Wednesday, the 23rd of August, today I'm going to do my webinar at 4 o'clock for subscribers today for an hour and a half. We're looking at the Dow at this 10 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update. Dow's up 81 at 34,368. For quite a few days, it's tried to rally and then it's failed. It hasn't made a new recovery high. It'll have to be above yesterday's high to be able to do that today. And that would be above 34,514.04 because that 0.01 will make a difference. So we're looking at kind of, okay, up 85. It's really, uh, from, my, from my perspective, the market is oversold to the extent that there should be a bounce. There's enough energy for a bounce. I don't see much more yet than a bounce. SPX is the S&P, and that's trading right now up 24 at 44.11. It's actually been a little bit better than the Dow. It's actually in a gray leg, eight to the upside. Oh, I must put, make a note of that tonight, this afternoon. I will discuss the idea of gray, meaning not a blue. Blue means you're already in a buy mode. But gray means you, you're getting there, but you haven't been able to reach that level yet. So looking at the QQQ, S&P is up 0.53%, Dow's up 0.23%, S&P is up 0.88%, up 316 at 366.46. Now it's above, just barely above the 14 period moving average. So this actually is really good. There, there were moments where I was looking at the market over the last few days and saying, have we made a low or the low? And I think it's just a low, it isn't the low. But these bounces can be quite um, – look at that weekly chart. Look at the nine-period moving average. I'll be discussing that in my work this afternoon. And, and that will also include the bigger outlook, the trends and the different sectors I'll be looking at. So the IWM uh, up 61 at 184. It's just really struggling. Now, gold had a really good move, up 18, up 19 at 1945. Now, one of the things we're looking at here is if the GDX, which is the gold miners – has finally caught up with gold. It wasn't acting all that well. Now it's doing very nicely. If you're looking at the dollar, now the dollar should be plunging with this kind of move. The dollar's up 46 at 10374. Uh, maybe running out of upside energy. We'll see about that. And crude oil is in a sell mode in the daily chart. That's very, uh, sorry, a sell signal about to go to a sell mode. And the TLT is trying to rally. That's bonds. I'll be back in a moment for the Tiger Technicians Hour. Hope you can say check out.